being both sides. Like, actually, it does depending on your utility. But you do see some uh, some teams actually preferring to set up for retakes, especially when I have like Mirage and the A bomb site, right? Yeah. So maybe if that's something HEO are comfortable with, then whatever floats your boat. And considering they now have a man advantage as well, Snatchy drops Mihu in middle. Yeah. That makes it easier. The pressure's kind of off Furlan here. He would definitely like a couple of kills, but even if he just falls back, he can take one or two shots and run back so VP don't take him down and a five on four retake with a kit, you know, that's totally fine for AGO. It's gonna be a long rotation though. They're very committed towards the pit with three of the players here. So push coming in, damage done by the USP and Furlan finds a kill. That's perfect. Fall back, don't re-engage and wait for VP to get the bomb down. Yep. His job is done, pretty much. Now it's all about staying alive. Don't be too oh. oh, well, okay. That will that will certainly help. That will do it. Furlan drops Neo, and now the retake's on. Pasha has a very aggressive position, but unless Snacks take some attention away from the CT spawn, they will surely check this spot. The CT's open. They should have a look, and there it is. Towel run and gun. The drive-by comes in. It's just Snacks left up. One kill already found on the USP, and now he needs a few more. They're already on the bomb. They're already sticking it, and he's got to dive in through. And they get off, but... It doesn't seem to matter. Groovy will finish off the round. What Bolts tends to do for uh, for SK, well, which is a one way, but no, they're just going to hold on to most of their utility and actually run out. Oh, and run through the smoke snatch, you will. On the back lines, they just don't react. No communication there for VP clip. Finding openings left and right. Just going to see if he can have the same kind of success on Inferno. And yes, is the answer. Neo gets dropped. Oh, that's so awkward as well, because Mihu passed by him. And even though they don't know it, it's because Mihu passed by that Neo thought mid was clear. So he ran into the AWP of Snatchy. Oh, the BD. Yeah. Is he going for the BDP? Back turned. He definitely is, but... Oscar style. There is a second rotation coming in from B as well, but... Oh, it's not going to come through. There we go. Tau finally finds it. It took their time though. AGO may be scared of this B rap as well because they send Tau back towards the B site. Look at Snatchy. Snatchy's all the way up in, up I don't in know CBL. Yeah, like this this round is makes all no over sense. the place. Yeah, this yeah. Is, uh, the Groovy's probably not going to be expecting anyone to be this close up. And the thing is, Snatchy can actually hit his footsteps up mid as well. So he can spot Pasha, but he misses the shot. Now the push to the A site. The bomb drop. Groovy with two. And that's pretty much the round guarantee, unless Pasha has a huge hero play here. Shot missed again from Snatchy. He pulls out the pistol and some... Force Bird Spur to kind of commit towards a bomb site here. And no utility, so they have to take gunfights at this point as well, mm. so... Yeah, they can't set up for any, like, cheeky pop flash into a crossfire kind of thing. Mm. Only issue is that rotations are a bit off, but you can see Furlan pushing aggressively in banana. That's a pick. It's a big pick. Look at the spray. The HR on the site tries to hold it down, but he can't fight back. Mihu, double headshot into it and bomb down on the site. He had, he's stuck in between a crossfire between Tau and Furlan, so it's not a free round here, but we still have Bialy up on the boost, who does drop down. Furlan hears the noise as well. One on the site, one in the pit. That's the call here for AGO. Will they be able to hit the shots though? Bialy, wide straight out into the open, but the trade is back for Tau for the 1v1 in action. Both players low, reload coming through. And Mihu tries to force the fight, but he's unsuccessful. Reposition, and this should be it. There it is for Mihu. That's nice. VP hasn't necessarily tried to, to regain banana control later on into the rounds unless they're fully committing a cool bad flash. That's gonna be an easy pick for Snatchy. He's going to go aggressive Ooh. again. Oh. Yeah, it only works out so much. Mihu trades it back. So VP's still in control. Considering there's no utility left up for AGO as well. Although the same story for VP. Rotation coming in through the spawn is still Furlan holds alone towards the top of Banana. I think he's on top of the boost, but he does fall off. Groovy in the meantime drops a man up on short. So now VP, they've got to make the decision. It does look like an A-side attack with that smoke going deep inside of Library. Tao still has a really good angle to actually catch him off guard. He can late peek this one, and there it is. First kill. He even spots the orbit with a missed shot. He goes back for more, but Mihu follows up. One point of health should be an easy job for PHR to finish off, and now it's just Bialy in a 1 for 3. Spotted on short. 20 seconds left. Bomb under the control of AGO. There is nothing going well for him here. Oh, he's just going to have to save. That's a terrible feeling. Not only are you going to get reset, but he's going to get no cash from this as well, so... Sure, he holds on to an AK, but what are the odds of him being able to hold on to that until the next buy round from VP? I mean, they've got to they've got to force this, right? At the end of the day, VP are, are going back to fourteen hundred loss bonus. They may as well buy. Yeah, me, me who. Uh... Oh, 
just actually not pre-aiming the close position. Didn't realize me who was worked up so far, and I like it. Quickly trying to take control towards the A site, but he won't be allowed to wrap. Groovy says no. So shut down back in response, and they actually give up Archway because Tower has rotated back into position. So three players on A and one on B. Yeah, and the issue for me with this is the fact that it doesn't really net Virtus Pro all that much. Like, yeah, again, the, the golden rule is equal numbers, you know, 4v4, 3v3. It's always going to favor the T side because of how thin you spread the defense. But H2O has been happy of leaving Furland alone on the B bomb side anyway, so it doesn't really weaken the defense for H2O all that much towards A. Yeah, VP not even going to try and go back towards B towards B. Instead, they continue at the A site, but Pasha does find the pick. Again, traded. AGO keeping things in check numerous rounds, but with this kill now, they have to give up Archway. And yeah, VP know it. You're very unlikely to be putting a man up on Arch in this spot because you want to be able to lock down the apps and short together as a team. And while they do at least watch that rap, Neo begins to push round and there's the contact. Neo, great shot. PHR's dead. And now it's just Tower on the site alone in a 1v3. Does drop the bomb, so that should force a rotation. 20 seconds on the clock. He needs his teammate to come back in. He needs to stay alive, but he's being wrapped up from Neo. Still, I like the angle. He's not allowing Neo to get this pick because he's hiding behind the box, but eventually he'll make his way round. And Neo, a slow play, but it pays off. The turtle getting onto the site. And there we go from Neo. Three frags. That's a massive round. And then grab a couple of rounds to get back into it. Yeah, they could get, you know, four, five rounds on the T side. Very minimum, but Tao doesn't want to allow that to go so well. Pasha does chase him down, and there's no utility at all left on this B site. Only one player, in fact. Berlin, he's trying to lock it in. Pasha throws a very, very deep smoke. Very deep, in fact. It gives Snatchy an angle back into the site, and he can drop Pasha. Easy kill. The bombs having rotated back up through mid is me who looks to commit to B. He should probably throw some utility down, but instead Snatchy peeks in, and me who is not quick enough on the trigger. Two players left up for VP, and while they will sneak their way up short, where AGO are unsuspecting, there's the contact made, and the repeat should come through, but PHR can only get one. I feel like PHR got like a solid 10 bullets into the side of that hay wagon. Prevents them from doing more damage, but still an advantage for them. Bialik down to 78 HP, only has a flash to work with. It's not really in the greatest ups, uh, position to actually isolate any sort of duels, but it's going to move forward. Oh, when it gets caught out. Unfortunate timing for Bialy, but in that kind of a situation, it's the only hope he has, really, of finding something, unless he wants to commit to the pit area and then, again, just try to play off of angles, which is, can be pretty difficult. And, again, if there's any sort of utility left on, on the side of HGO, they could smoke him out, and, again, he's left with almost no room to work with. Yeah, he's just got up 12 rounds in. That's pretty insane. And now VP, they're going back for it. They want another one. They Tao is going to have another bite of the bullet, but will the bullet be bit by him? No, he fights out, finds two, but his teammate goes down in the meantime. The thing is, the Molotov's still down, thrown from Furland, so it delays VP's push into the B site and allows Snatchy to get into position. The flash is good, but he hits the shot. Blind to Bialy, down to 15 HP. And while that won't at least get the kill, and he doesn't know it just yet, it will make this retake certainly easier. There's a late push up through mid from Pasha to try and catch these rotates, but AGO are already on the B bomb site, as is the plant. The question is how long is VP going to be able to stall the retake from HGO here if Pasha's going to come into effect? There it is, though. They were so ready for it. PHR checked, but Pasha wins the duel. And now Snatchy's got to be wary of his backside as well. Pasha not over-aggressing as he knows his teammates need to make contact first. And there it is. Neo does. Headshot coming through. Groovy last man up. And they know where he is because it's the only position that they don't have information on. And Neo, again, another big 3K. It seems like VP at least have a very good buy ahead of them here to try and pick up the latter two in this half. Pasha in mid with the orb. He's going to walk right in. That's a good nade as well, at least on the CT side because it blinds the vision of Snatchy. So a bit of an awkward one as Pasha catches the timing on it. And now with the man advantage, make it double. Oh my god, the MP9 fires back. Up in the apartments, he's down to 4 HP and he's actually being hounded by Pasha who jumped up on top of the balcony. Won't be fully chased down as VP don't want to overextend. But in the meantime, Furlan's up through middle, dropping Mihu and upgrading weapon. Even though PHR's low, this retake's certainly doable here for the AGO side. Utility continues to be barreled out by Pasha, and the peak can come through on the AWP. He hits the shot. Another man up on short as well, and even though PHR's low, Neo should be able to find it, and he does. At least on the towel. Managed to get that fifth on the board. Obviously not the greatest advice from HGO. They're just going to go straight aggressive here. Wow. All right. That works. There's one trade straight back, though, and 
Furlong's going to get pressured, overwhelmed maybe on Banana. Snacks just shoots him through the smoke. Why not? That works. But VB don't want to over-aggress because they know that not only AGO are under-equipped, but they could have stacked the site. Oh, look at Snatchy, though. How cold are you going to be? Oh, no. There's one, two. And does he know the third's up there? No, he checks down bottom mid. Doesn't matter. He's just found two for the price of one. Yeah, did significant damage onto Pasha as well. So health-wise, this is in, a, in the advantage of HGO, but obviously they have no real idea of what's going on. VP split up significantly here. Bombs all the way up in the apps on Mihu. Pasha is still waiting for someone to rotate around from Banana. If Pasha can throw his nades up to B, it might actually force a rotate because they have no information here. And that's when the bomb can come out of apartments as well. Oh, question is, though, is he going to walk up with his back towards Groovy here? Nope. Oh, still doesn't matter. And that's going to prompt Mihu to run out. And he's going to get caught up by Fur or PHR. So Same with the smokes. Three players here for VP, but one is going to be cordoned off by that utility. So it's just me who it snacks to do the damage. Great flashbangs here. It's blinding everyone on the T side, but will the shots come back in a response? Me who is so low, but it won't matter because kills are coming through for VP. There's only one player left up. And out of absolutely nowhere, VP have slam dunked AGO on the second pistol round, leaving just Snatchy. You say just Snatchy, but he's been able to work some miracles before. Not going to be the case, though. Bialy takes him out. Disease is at bomb site though. You can see there's already, already a rotation coming in from Pasha as well. So there's gonna be three people defending and no smokes on the side of HGO either. So it's gonna be a bit of a shooting gallery. And away we go. Snacks and Mihu combined for well, all five. And there's not really any gaps to be had. Smoke comes down and they'll just have to sit down and wait. Oh, Bialy though is gonna get aggressive in abs. He's gonna find Tao. This is a nice little find. Also, we're going to one player over towards the B bomb side. So we've got a three-man defense here, but the majority of HGO they're on that A bomb side, and they're going to find Pasha as well on Arts. That leaves Bialy all by his lonesome in pit. He's got a momentous task ahead of him. He does have utility, but maybe not wanting to give away his position here because AGO is still checking the site, still being thorough. Molotov into the mini pit, but there's the peak from Bialy. One frag found. He's going to be peaked from the top side of Grave. He needs to be aware of that now as the push comes through, and Furlan will get the running shot. Three on three now on the post plant. No utility really for either team. Me who's got uh, incendiary, but that is it. Not the optimal plant though for the the extra plant positions that PHR and uh, Groovy has. Oh, goodbye. Headshot in and all three players retaking from long. AGO wasting time checking spots that don't need to be checked. And they're going to realize that pretty soon. Contact being made. And there's the peak from Neo. He can just jump on the bomb, like you said. Not enough to go after plant. And he's got to run through the molly to stop it. But they actually find the kills. And suddenly, AGO win it in a two-on. You're giving so much breathing room to AGO. And look at Tao. Look at, look at how far he is. They're finally going to spot him. And he needs to be aware of Balcony. But while he goes down, still, the fact that he can get up there without VP having any idea... It's still pretty scary. Yeah. This is like, well, I guess a bit of a lucky incident for him in that sense that Posh has just taken his eyes off of, mm. uh, off of Arch. So that happens every now and again. But yeah. Brave of Tao to just kind of run up there by, his, by himself as well. If it doesn't get caught out by, um, I think it was Neo who spotted him yeah. initially, then that can very easily take down the entire defense. Oh, be Ali. I mean, it might not even be needed at this point. Does help though, makes it a bit easier. Catches one man, doesn't even go in for more, doesn't overextend. There's still PHR in the middle who actually trades back despite Bialy's reposition, which was quite clever to be fair. Mm. Still AGO in a two on four now, looking back towards this A site. And yeah, this is the full rotate from VP. They are fully aware of what's about to unfold here on this bomb site. Neo waiting for them to give away their positions. And there it is, one kill and a second again, three kills from Neo. I mean, to really commit blindly into somewhere. And well, instead of four people on A, it's going to be four people on B this time around. And Snacks finds the first frag on Tau, gets flushed out. But Smoke's providing good cover so far. Snatchy. They're getting caught in the smoke. This one in position. Snatchy gets into the spawn, but they still haven't spotted the man on the boost. He's just going to dive on in. Bialy instead does the damage. Two on the M4. And over again from VP. But again, HGO haven't really found an answer to this. They're running through the same wall, but that's definitely going to be helpful. And he goes down through the smoke. Oh, oh Neo wow. gets caught looking the wrong direction. And, oh well, Bosch is missing shots as well. That leaves Bialy all alone on a... He's got to find people. He tries to isolate. 
PHR, but doesn't win out the duel. And that means Snacks with an op has to do it versus four players. Probably not going to be <laughs> need be the case. Better off saving, even though VP does have a fair bit of cash. Snacks sitting on 8.1 as of right now, but as you can see, Mihu down to 1900. So they, they're, again, VP are doing the smart thing here by trying to hold on to it, playing long term. I'm actually kind of surprised by the fact that Snacks is moving even closer here. Yeah, I think he just knows if he takes like one or two players away here, it can limit the economy, and eventually if VP find this reset, AJ will be struggling to buy, whereas if they keep four alive and then VP win around, we're still going to have a buy, and a good buy at that for AGO. VP firing off some flashbangs, keeping AGO back, and that will certainly help Yali. Aggressive in the apartments does drop Tao, who was alone, so now with no trade in, a Geo or a man down, they've got to try and isolate someone, something. Get a pick back into this. Although Pasha's making it easier said than done, he's posted up on long. Great position to get a one shot, fall off, and he's gonna miss it, but he does fall off. No trade in sight. Keeping this man advantage strong here for VP as another man even rotates into position. Flash is really good as well, but Pasha still can't find the shot because he's been smoked off in the library. Now they can begin to wrap, but look at Neo. He's pushed all the way behind. Well, he may not be able to get a kill. Bialy's just delaying the push back in, and finally Neo strikes as well. Almost a team kill, but Bialy dropping Furlan, and that is a flawless rest hmm. This is a bit of a new approach from HGO, though. Heavy presence in apps. Yeah in the smoke as well. They dive out through, going to the pit, because that's where Bialy sits, but they have found the entry from PHR. Pasha defending from the site with a shot in the orb. Does he realize there's a man in the pit? They've dropped in. Groovy with a double on the CZ, and they've even got a man, Snatchy, to catch these rotates, both of which are coming through the spawn. Mid is no longer a worry for AGO, although they're not aware of that just yet. As Mitsu sh uh, Mihu shows his face, he now has made an opportunity for VP, a two on two. Flash goes high and Groovy peeks out from below and he does take that kill, leaving just the orb of snacks. This could be the reset to find map and match point for AGO onto the economy of VP. What a worse time to have it come through as well. Snacks does find the kill with the USP. Now problems arise and Groovy, he's gonna need this fourth kill to keep the game going, to keep it in their favor. Snacks looks away and that's the timing for Groovy. AGO finds utility to it and again, something to catch people off in terms of shock. Yali tries to catch Tao off but completely misses. Snacks, 5 HP, but he's still gonna go for it. Good flashback, but it doesn't find the close player, so Furlan can do the damage. Snatchy cleans up the kill, but AGO, just like how you like it, two-man advantage to start off the round. No threat from VP, who are just going to gamble it. Look at this rotation. I like this from VP. It's very risky, but again, at 15-13, when you're two men down, you have weak weapons anyway. Nothing to lose. Yeah, all in. And I mean, if Pasha gets the first pick here on somebody popping up the angle, it could be all they need. Oh, but the trade came through in the same time. Tao got another kill in the apartment. So yes, Pasha may have relieved some of the pressure, but they can just burst out apps at this point. Even with two players here for VP, I'm surprised ADO don't just walk to B. And VP expect them to. So again, they fully rotate off of the site. Furlan's even going to hear these footsteps. So that only reaffirms the fact that they need to hit A. And Furlan, spotted by Pasha, is just misinformation here for VP here. And they don't know it. Shot missed from Pasha. Furlan goes back in for the peak. And this may be done. This may be dusted. But me, who's got three more kills to find. Oh, that was so well done by Furlan. Instead of re-engaging re on Pasha, just immediately after seeing the peak in, uh, in from pool, just steps back for a little while, draws Pasha further away, and eventually pounces, and when Mihu maul itself out in library, has three people to find. Doesn't have a defuse kit either. Seems like a bit of an impossible task. Well, he's in the site. <laughs> and he's out of the game. And he's out of the game. Snatchy with a headshot and AGO with a 2-0 victory. Definitely deserving of that one. They look fantastic. Uh, the best of three series overall. And VP, I mean, now it really hurts losing that, what, 14-6 lead on trade. Because yeah. they've just lost 2-0. Yeah, no, that, that should have been their game, right? But, but we talked about it as it was happening. We were joking about it, like, oh, well, what if? And then, then it actually came to fruition 